A photon rocket has been a leading rocket scheme that inspired generations of rocket enthusiasts. By definition, the photon rocket is a rocket that uses thrust from the momentum of emitted photons radiation pressure by emission for its propulsion. Photon rocket has been widely discussed for decades as a next-generation propulsion that can make interstellar flight possible, which requires the ability to propel spacecraft to speeds at least 10% of the light speed, via approximately 0.1 c equals 30,000 km, sec Sander, 1967. Photon propulsion has been considered to be one of the best available interstellar propulsion concepts, because it is founded on established physics and technologies forward, 1984. Traditional photon rockets are proposed to be powered by onboard generators, as in the traditional nuclear photonic rocket. The standard textbook case of such a rocket is the ideal case where all of the fuel is converted to photons which are radiated in the same direction. In more realistic treatments, one takes into account that the beam of photons is not perfectly collimated, that not all of the fuel is converted to photons, and so on. A large amount of fuel would be required and the rocket would be a huge vessel. Bay recently proved that the maximum spacecraft speed achieved by onboard photon rockets even with fusion is limited by the nuclear fuel mass as described below. The limitations posed by the rocket equation can be overcome, as long as the reaction mass is not carried by the spacecraft. In the beamed laser propulsion, BLP, the photon generators and the spacecraft are physically separated and the photons are beamed from the photon source to the spacecraft using lasers. However, BLP is limited because of the extremely low thrust generation efficiency of photon reflection. One of the best ways to overcome the inherent inefficiency in producing thrust of the photon thruster by amplifying the momentum transfer of photons by recycling photons between two high reflectance mirrors. Photon recycling multiple times over distances in a passive optical cavity, which consists of two high reflectance mirrors only, expands laser beam diameter, thus forms a fabry perret optical resonance cavity in which any small movement of mirrors would destroy the resonance condition and null photonic thrust. Bay discovered that in an active optical cavity formed by two high reflectance mirrors and a laser gain medium in between, similar to the typical laser cavity, photon recycling becomes insensitive to the movement of mirrors. Bay named the laser thruster based on the photon recycling in an active optical cavity photonic laser thruster PLT. In 2015 his team demonstrated the number of photon recycling up to 1,540 over a distance of a few meters and photonic thrusts up to 3.5 mN with the use of a 500W laser system, and a CubeSat in weight was propelled with PLT. PLT can in principle overcome the tyranny of the rocket equation, which implies that the required onboard fuel mass exponentially increases as a function of the destination velocity for conventional thrusters, thus, if successfully developed, can expand human space endeavors beyond Earth orbits. Topic. Speed The speed an ideal photon rocket will reach, in the absence of external forces, depends on the ratio of its initial and final mass. V equals C M I M F 2 minus 1 M I M F 2 plus one display style v equals c frac left frac m underscore i m underscore f right caret two minus one left frac m underscore i m underscore f right caret two plus one where m i display style m underscore i is the initial mass and m f Display style m underscore f is the final mass. The gamma factor corresponding to this speed has the simple expression gamma equals one two m i m f plus 
M F M I display style gamma equals frac 1 2 left frac m underscore i m underscore f plus frac m underscore f m underscore i right at 10% the speed of light the gamma factor is about 1.005 implying m f m i display style frac m underscore f m underscore i is very nearly 0 0.9 topic derivation we denote the four momentum of the rocket at rest as p i display style p underscore i the rocket after it has burned its fuel as p f display style p underscore f and the four momentum of the emitted photons as p p h display style p underscore text p h conservation of four momentum implies p p h equals p i Minus p f display style p underscore text p h equals p underscore i p underscore f squaring both sides, i.e. taking the Lorentz inner product of both sides with themselves, gives p p h two equals p i two plus p F two minus two P I P F Display style P underscore text PH carrot two equals P underscore I carrot two plus P underscore F carrot two two P underscore I C D O T P underscore F According to the energy momentum relation E Two minus P C two equals M C two two Display style E carrot two P C carrot two equals Mc carrot two carrot two The square of the four momentum equals the square of the mass and P P H two equals zero display style p underscore text ph caret two equals zero because photons have zero mass as we start in the rest frame i.e. the zero momentum frame of the rocket the initial four momentum of the rocket is p i equals m i c two C zero 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 display style p underscore i equals begin p matrix frac m underscore i c caret two c zero 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 end p matrix while the final four momentum is p f equals gamma m f C gamma M F V F zero zero display style P underscore F equals begin P matrix gamma M underscore F C gamma M underscore F V underscore F zero zero end P matrix therefore taking the Minkowski inner product C four vector we get Zero equals M I two plus M F two minus two M I M F gamma 
Display style zero equals m underscore i carrot two plus m underscore f carrot two minus two meters underscore i m underscore f gamma. We can now solve for the gamma factor, obtaining gamma equals one two m i m f plus m f m i display style gamma equals frac 1 2 left frac m underscore i m underscore f plus frac m underscore f m underscore i right Topic maximum speed limit standard theory says that the theoretical speed limit of a photon rocket is below the speed of light. Haug has recently, in Acta Astronautica, suggested a maximum speed limit for an ideal photon rocket that is just below the speed of light. This speed he has suggested is a function of the heaviest subatomic particle in the rocket. The maximum velocity can based on this be calculated to be VMAX equals C1 minus LP2 lambda 2. Display style V underscore max equals C SQRT 1 FRAC L underscore P carrot 2 bar lambda carrot 2 where LP display style L underscore P is the Planck length and lambda display style bar lambda is the reduced Compton wavelength of the subatomic fundamental particle. This velocity is for known subatomic particles above what currently can be achieved at the Large Hadron Collider, but below the speed of light. Based on the relativistic rocket equation this also means two Planck masses of fuel are needed for every subatomic particle in payload in the ideal photon rocket to reach maximum velocity. Regardless of the photon generator characteristics, a unified theory on onboard photon rockets powered with nuclear fission and fusion can prove their engineering speed limits. In this unified theory, it is assumed that the propulsion system has a single stage. Suppose the total mass of the photon rocket – spacecraft is M that includes fuels with a mass of alpha M with alpha. Assuming the fuel mass to propulsion system energy conversion efficiency gamma and the propulsion system energy to photon energy conversion efficiency delta E P equals alpha gamma delta M C two display style E underscore P equals alpha gamma delta mc caret two if the total photon flux can be directed at 100% efficiency to generate thrust, the total photon thrust T P is given by T P equals E P C equals alpha gamma delta M C display style t underscore p equals frac e underscore p c equals alpha gamma delta mc the maximum attainable spacecraft velocity v max of the photon propulsion system for v max vmax equals tpm equals alpha gamma delta c display style v underscore max equals frac t underscore p m equals alpha gamma delta c for example the approximate maximum velocities achievable by onboard nuclear-powered photon rockets with assumed parameters are given in Table 1. The maximum velocity limits by such nuclear-powered rockets are less than 0.02% of the light velocity 60 km per second. Therefore, onboard nuclear photon rockets are unsuitable for interstellar missions. Table 1 The maximum velocity obtainable by photon rockets with onboard nuclear photon generators with exemplary parameters. The beamed laser propulsion, such as photonic laser thruster, however, can provide the maximum spacecraft velocity approaching the light speed, c, in principle. Topic. See also Beam-powered propulsion Laser propulsion Nuclear photonic rocket Photonic laser thruster